Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Thanks for stopping by for this new series of CSENT video practice exams. And of course, those of you working on the CCNA, you need to take this as well because it's all about success on the ICND-1 exam. Let's go ahead and hit today's question. For each of these statements, tell me whether they describe TCP, UDP, both or neither. First statement, windowing not available. Second statement, connection oriented. Third statement, used by protocol that dynamically assigns the IP addresses and default gateway. Fourth statement, uses sequence numbers. Fifth statement of the two has higher overhead. If you think you know the answers to all five, stick around because we're going to have an important discussion about this as well. And if you want some time to think about your answers, go ahead and pause the video now because we're going to go straight into the answers. First statement, windowing not available, that describes UDP because TCP has that windowing capability that UDP does not. Now, connection oriented, connection oriented describes TCP because we have that three way handshake with TCP where basically we have these agreements for the two parties to talk to each other, really, and that's the underlying connection. UDP is connectionless. UDP doesn't have a three-way handshake, doesn't do any of that stuff. So at that point in your studies, and I know I was like this, I was thinking, well, why does anybody use UDP for anything if TCP has windowing and it's connection oriented? Uh, well, question three or statement three, used by protocol that dynamically assigns the IP addresses and the default gateway, we know that's DHCP and DHCP uses UDP. So at that point in your studies, you know, if you're like me, I'm thinking, well, you know, why does DHCP use UDP? Why does anybody use UDP? We're getting to that. Very important concept. Question, uh, statement four, uses sequence numbers. Well, this is TCP again. It seems to be another vote in favor of using TCP for everything uh, because UDP doesn't have sequence numbers. Well, it's question five or statement five that kind of drives the whole concept home about why we use UDP for so many things of the two has higher overhead, that's definitely TCP. One thing I would stress, especially for people who are just getting started in networking, just getting started in your studies, uh, there's a reason that you don't read a study guide or read a technical guide and say, hey, I'm gonna go back to work tomorrow, I'm gonna put all of this on my router, or I'm gonna put every possible feature on my switch. Everything we do has, has a cost. There is an overhead. And of these two, with TCP and UDP, uh, TCP has a higher overhead. There's a lot more going on, but there is that higher overhead. UDP is bare bones, but it gets the job done. So that's why we don't just use TCP for everything, is that it does have a higher overhead than UDP. Uh, speaking of windowing and the sequence numbers, things like that, I'm going to be covering those in future CSENT video boot camps as well. And that takes care of today's practice exam. If you give me just a moment of your time, uh, check out udemy.com slash u slash Chris Bryant. We've got over 11,000 video boot camp students. Some courses are free, some are almost free, uh, but they're all fantastic and no single exam course is over $44. And what I wanted to mention here, I get asked a lot by CSENT students, you know, is the CCNA course good for me? Uh, yeah, actually it is. I don't have a separate CSENT course because for one price, you get everything you need for the CSENT and then everything you need for the CCNA. And also, always look over here for a discount code. And if you put Bulldog60 in for that particular one, the price goes from $125 to $44. And as you can see, we've got over 3,000 happy students in there and a ton of five-star reviews. So I know you'll like it. As a matter of fact, it's guaranteed for 30 days. So thanks so much for taking today's CSENT practice exam and a lot more on the way. I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for making TBA part of your CSENT and CCNA success story.